Yo. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, I don't know what episode we're on. I want to say this is like eight or something. I don't know. Um, fuck. What did what did we do? We just like leveled someone up, right? We we just souped somebody up so we could make them uh a uh, uh, fucking so we could fight the boss second last boss i think we're on floor 90 so we have this and then floor 100 and then we're done still don't know if we have to do the optional side bosses i don't think so but maybe we do i don't know um kind of actually like so so i've never not i mean uh, not not never but you know, I, I've been kind of out of uh, Danganronpa for a little bit. Like, I kind of just, like, I don't know. There's there's not a whole lot really going on <laughs> when it comes to Danganronpa uh, as of late. But I'm kind of kind of getting back into the swing of things. I'm kind of kind of fucking with it now. Um, today is Friday. Um, this video probably won't go up until Monday because I like to upload these um, on weekdays. <laughs> If I, when I remembered to upload them, cause that way, you know, you can, you can fucking listen to them or watch them at work and you know, it's, it's fun. I actually kind of enjoy listening to myself, which is like a really, uh, probably narcissistic and self-absorbed, but I don't actually mind it. Because I always forget what I talk about, and then I'm like, what did I even talk about in that video? And I listen to it, and I'm like, this dude is spitting right now. He is spitting. So, <laughs> I, I do it uh, for my own enjoyment, which is weird. <laughs> but, I think we're about set up. We're ready to go in. Yeah, floor, floor 90 boss. We gotta fight that fucking guy. Fun. Really fun. Um, yeah, uh, I've started getting back into Danganronpa though. Like, I was watching this like long ass, like five hour long analysis of Danganronpa V3, and then I'm like, damn, this dude's kind of spitting. <laughs> Everyone's just spitting right now. They just. <laughs> I just uh, adjusted my chair. I feel like that was really loud. <sighs> but yeah, listening to that, I'm like, dude, this guy has some points. Or I, it might be a girl. I don't actually know how they identify. But said person has some points. And I kind of, I, I remembered like, I had a couple ideas like a long time ago. I was like, I'm gonna do like top, top ten this like. Top 10 underutilized areas in Danganronpa. Because that's actually kind of like a good idea. Because there's so many areas and like things that are just like not expanded upon. Like uh... In Danganronpa 1. Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, it's not a spoiler if I tell you what doesn't happen, I guess. So in Danganronpa 1, uh, this is not much of a surprise or anything this is this is not really spoilers because it's on the first floor but on the first floor they had like this weird sort of, they like made like a sort of big deal about like uh fucking like they had like an incinerator room and the incinerator room is what i'm thinking of as like probably like the top most under uh used area in Danganronpa because it's available from floor one and it has relevance to uh burn evidence this is trial one so I, I know a lot of my friends have uh seen trial one what the hell is that a mosquito how did you get here mosquito just flew past me but trial one uh a, a piece of evidence gets burned in the incinerator and there's like a sort of uh they, they put some focus on which person was on, like, garbage duty, and they had, like, the key to, like, the incinerator room. And that never came, that never really became important. It never was really brought up again. 
and I feel like they really could have done something with it. Like, what if you just put a whole body in the incinerator, right? Like, and that's like the trial, like, they, they know that a body has been incinerated, but they don't know, you know, you, you can make it like, they don't know who, who was it, you know, or, uh, maybe, you know, you can't inspect the body, so there's much less evidence, and that's how they, like, delete some of the evidence, is by making it incinerated, like, you know, it, it brings up potential, there's a lot of potential there, and it's unrealized, and, like, it'd be such a good way to get rid of evidence, and everyone's like, nah, I think I'm gonna keep the evidence. I think I'm gonna just tuck it in some locker or something. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's such a, such a missed opportunity. And I was, I was thinking about this, uh, when they were talking about, um, the motive for Chapter 3 of Danganronpa V3. Uh, if you know, you know. I told, I, honestly, between you and me, I forgot what the fuck the motive was <laughs> altogether. So, um, I was like, oh yeah, I remember, like, why didn't they actually, like, you like, utilize the motive, like, better? But... Maybe I actually will make that video a real thing. Bringing back top 10s. I feel like top 10s haven't really been in favor for YouTube. I don't know if it's just because, like, you know, the meta is, is shifting. Or if YouTube just doesn't promote. Like, maybe people are still making those videos and they're just not getting promoted. Or maybe, like, it just doesn't... Uh, nobody's making them. I don't know. But it's something I might do. It wouldn't be too hard. <sighs> It'd be kind of annoying because I'd have to get like footage, and I'd have that means I'd have to play the games. <laughs> I'd I'd have to like I'd ha I wonder if I wrote down some of the locations. I could probably do like a top five. Like uh, let's see what what areas would I do? Incinerator room. Um. I, 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 won't, I won't say, because uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I, I'd like to keep these pretty spoiler-free and not talk about Dog and Rapa. Um, but I'd like, for, at some point, for there to be spoiler time. Maybe I'll actually make it like a, a series where I just play through the games again. But like, may, maybe I'll just do it like... A, like a chapter a weekend or something like that. But also like, I don't know if I really got that kind of time. Sometimes I just don't got that kind of time. Um, but most of, most of the time I think I'm pretty free on the weekends. So maybe I'll, I'll try and make it a reality. Um, let's, maybe, maybe we'll do it this fucking weekend. Maybe we'll do it on like Saturday or like Sunday or something. The only thing is that Danganronpa chapters are kind of long, and also, like, I'm not going into it blind. But, like, you know, I, I could probably potentially bring in, you know, like, the boys, and then have them, like, voice stuff, maybe, if they want to. But also, like, it's not a big deal if they don't want to. <laughs> like, I can just do it all. But also, like, talking that much is kind of like, ugh. Like, I was streaming Amori, like, my first time playing Amori, I was streaming it. And I'm like, damn, this is so much talking, like, I'm so done. I don't want to talk anymore. I'm gonna take a sip of my hot chocolate. Damn, that shit's good as hell. Yeah, uh... Reading a lot of dialogue is a bit tiresome sometimes. I, I, I don't know if I could keep the energy up the whole time, but maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll fuck around and find out. Maybe this weekend. Maybe next weekend. But also, like, at the same time, like, I've been trying to, like, make a harder push to <laughs> edit uh, my videos. God, I have to have people, like, I lost my demo files for Dave Defeat. I just realized, like, uh, a couple days ago. Like, yesterday or maybe two days ago. Because I was trying to record, like, B-roll, like, cinematics for, like, the montage. But 
I don't have the demos anymore and it's kind of annoying like bots don't really work and like I can't record myself properly and it's just annoying it's also like really bad because it's like um, the demo viewer is from like 2003 it's so ancient and it's just it barely works um, I think, you know, it was ahead of its time, but it's still kind of shit, like, it's, I'd still rather not use it, it's still not ideal. So, we'll have to wrestle with that. We might honestly just do it the old-fashioned way, instead of trying to do, like, you know, if you've ever watched, like, a Counter-Strike montage or something like that, where, like, you'll see, like, in third person, like, the, the camera goes, like, diagonal, like, whoosh. And it's like super smooth and like, you know, it's it's traveling in like waypoints and shit and it's like that there's like a timeline and stuff, like it just kinda doesn't work. Like if you just try and like rewind in in fucking in a demo, it will just like fuck everything up. Like it just sucks. It just like doesn't really work at all. So I'll probably just take the another thing that sucks is that like I I don't know how I could get my friends to fucking join the same server as me without like with SV cheats like enabled so I could have like the HUD turned off because you you can't do that without the without cheats enabled so I'd have to like make a local server do some port forwarding wizardry bullshit and then and then I'd have to like direct them and like tell them what to do. Like we gotta load onto specific maps. Like, hey, can you stand here, shoot him with this gun, and then you know I gotta do all this stuff in spectator and make it look cinematic and not super amateurish because it's definitely gonna look amateurish because it is amateurish. <laughs> but you know, I I don't know. It's something I probably will do because I'm pretty. I'm like dead set on like I want to do this like I have so much footage and I started going through it like a couple days ago but someday I'm, I'm slowly chipping away at learning uh, editing skills and stuff I just really need to just open it up and just like throw it all together and just start fucking around in it instead of just like you know I can I can watch stuff it's kind of like how some people are they learn by doing and not like listening. Some people are like visual learners, like auditory learners, and then like physical learners or something like that. Something like that I learned. Um, don't know how much truth there is to it, but you know, I'd I'd wager there's a decent amount of truth to it. <laughs> but I guess maybe I'm a I'm a physical learner. I learn best by just like doing stuff and like messing around with it. Like we had a uh, this really cool photoshop class in high school and because of that i can operate photoshop pretty competently definitely not like a, an expert by any means but you know i can i can make my way around you know i can mess with some stuff figure some stuff out it's it's fun enjoy me a good photoshop session <sighs> unless i'm uninspired in which case I ain't got nothing, but yeah, I I've seen some real wizardry, like there was this one girl who I like just watched her like streaming like Photoshop, like making like banners and stuff, like all professional and I'm like, okay, this is, this is next level, like it's, I don't have the mind for that, <laughs> like <laughs> she, she's got a gift, but I don't have quite that gift. I'm a I'm a doer of many things and a master of nothing. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I wouldn't really have it any other way. That's kind of like how I always wanted to be like growing up. I always wanted to be somebody who could just do everything. Maybe it's cuz I don't like asking people for help, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just do it myself and I'll do it like decently enough. Like I'm not going to stress uh, too much about making it perfect. Which sometimes I end up doing anyway. Usually with stuff that I have higher expectations for myself. Like videos. But 
for the most part. I don't normally sweat the small stuff when I'm like, you know, I know that it's not a big deal. Or if it's just for fun. <sighs> Dang. This fight is going on for way too long <laughs> in this game. We are running out of mana. Shuichi is a non-factor in this fight at all. Because apparently this dude's like immune to fucking ice. I didn't know that. I looked at like the, the weaknesses and the strengths. I didn't see that there. Maybe it was there and I was blind to it all, but uh, I didn't see it. It's really just up to Kaito. I don't know if Kaito can bring it home. Um, what else is going on? I don't really know. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, going to Florida later this month. Um, I don't know. I'm not particularly excited. It's kind of just like, you know, it's just like, it's like business, you know. You know, I, I gotta go there. You know, I don't... <laughs> Florida has never been a fantastic place that I am always thrilled to go. Uh, I always just kind of interpret it as where old people go to die. And my parents are not that old. But it's kind of it's kind of just like that. So, you know, that's, that's my interpretation of Florida. So I'm kind of not happy that, you know, I, I worked for like a year. Like all of my sick or all my vacation time is like... Uh, you earn it rather than like um, get it like in a bucket that you can spend whenever so I earned like you know a week like eight eight days worth of like vacation time and then like instead of going somewhere that like I might want to go I'm like going to Florida to like see my my family which isn't a waste of time but also it's like damn you know I wish I could do that and something else I wish I didn't uh, have to just choose one but I don't really know where I would go anyway. I'd probably go to like, <laughs> I'd probably, I don't know, would I go to like Japan? Like, I, I feel like I will at some point, but like, I'm not yet, I'm not, I'm not ready. I gotta go with a bunch of my friends, at least like a couple of my friends. Like I need like three, three friends to go with. And it's not in it's not in the cards right now, so I'm not too pressed about it. But also, it's like, damn, I wish we could have done, you know, something, something else. I don't got that much vacation time. I don't got that much sick time. Kind of hate being an adult. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not it's not that great. Um, this fight is going down the fucking shitter right now. I don't really know what to do here. I kind of need Terra Terra alive to to use the electric barrier and cure the conditions, and then just like revive Kaito. I don't know. I think we might just be dead here. I don't think we're gonna be able to f kill this boss on this run. We actually have to dump Shuichi for someone else. Shuichi is so worthless. Yeah, he's just killing Kaito on repeat. This is fucked up. I'd at least rather him kill Taro Taro so I could have, you know, one more hit. Maybe that, maybe this one hit will be enough to, to end him. Maybe he's one health. I don't know. I didn't do the math. Here it is. The one hit. Critical hit. It's a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, see ya.